Hello and welcome back to this Victoria 2 Ultimate Mod Napoleonic France Let's Play. So uh, we're going to continue colonising and taking over lots of land and increasing our empire and stuff. I, could, I should really get some troops down here in South Africa and possibly try and take out the Zulus. Um, that'd be a good idea. I could do. I want to really take Madagascar at some point as well. Um, I'm a bit annoyed that Spain got Ermen as well. So I was wanting to take like the curse line. Um, but that's not going to happen anymore. Anyway, I think we do want to keep going to war with the Ottomans. I, however, last episode, I do remember, it didn't go very well, did it? We did, we did pretty shit, to be honest. My conquest of Shangzi against the Chinese Empire. Well, look, all the little provinces as well. Is the Chinese Empire going to get wiped out? They nearly have. Jesus, that was in part, well, it's mainly because of Russia. They've taken Korea and a lot of the Chinese East Coast. It's very interesting. We've got the game rolling. Um, end of the Marina Monarchy. Following a localizing, 1897, France, who had long held Madagascar. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I did know that at some point there was some sort of like thing where we get Madagascar, but I couldn't remember like if it was an event or if it was like a war that we had to do or something. But yeah, Madagascar. <laughs> so we're already like a minute and 45 seconds in, and we've already got Madagascar. That's pretty good. The British seem to be invading the Ottomans as well. And why is that? Defending Romania against an ex Wallachia. Oh, that'll be interesting. I do. I want to. I think I said last episode how I want to. Like, build my empire but then take down other peoples. Spain is going to have to come onto that list at some point, seeing as they do earn, like, a fucking great deal. Such as Portugal, really. But I think Spain's allied with Russia. Yeah. I don't really fancy a war with Russia. I mean, I do need to do it to Russia as well, but we could do some crises going off at some point. I'm pretty much done with Europe. I don't really see much point in conquering much more. I'll let you do that. Um, Denmark's allied with Prussia. Kiel's allied with Denmark. So yeah, I think the Ottomans are going to be my main target for the next few episodes, basically. And we're already at episode 25, which is quite crazy, really. I have two Sicilies, and and yeah. They're not really much of a... Well, are they? Uh, let's... Let's go for round, round two. Oh, it's probably a lot more rounds than what we've actually... What I've just said, since we have been to war with the Ottomans quite a few times. Uh, acquire state. We will do that. It takes 15 days. So, yeah. Oh shit, that's a big uprising. Why is no one going to deal with it? Because I've turned off bloody hunt rebels, haven't I? I'm not sure one of my armies can deal with it. So, fucking 70,000 men. Ridiculous. Oh no. <laughs> Just annihilate them. Uh, right, so let's see what we can do then. We can go to war. We can take... Right, that's good. So I've picked the right one. Do we even have any allies? Italy, Netherlands, and Hungary. And they're all very likely to come. I don't know if I want to invite Hungary. Since the last time they got absolutely wrecked. Although the British are actually invading as well. So the Ottoman attention should be drawn elsewhere. That's my thinking. Whether my thinking will be correct, I don't know. Anyway, we'll get some troops across. I think I'll actually send four, three armies to deal with them. Increase our opinion in Sweden, we will do that. We could discredit Russia. No, we can't. We could expel Russian advisors. No, we can't. I'm guessing that's just because they're in their influence, their sphere, should I say. Right. You, sir, are going to go here to Tobruk. Liberals are still dominating politics-wise. 
Not like it matters anyway, because I'm pretty sure we don't have elections. No, no voting. <sighs> uh, send it back and get the get the remaining men. What's this? Burma. My room gets so warm, so fast with that heat. Burma asks us to back their current side, their side or whatever. Uh, I'm not gonna. I don't really want to. I don't think it will actually kick off, to be honest. Oh. Let's rattle our sabre. I do want a crisis to go off, it'll be interesting, but possibly not now since I am transporting troops. Maybe that was a, a wrong thing. Ah, it failed to enlist anyway. Right. There is no fleet to load this onto. Oh. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you. Oh, God. You. I've been playing a lot of Hearts Fighting Free because just, I've just been recording. Um, well, so just yesterday and the day before, I've been recording. The Optimates or Napoleon Bonaparte. I've been recording um, some. Hearts of Iron 3, a new Pact of Steel let's play, which is going to be quite good, I should think. Uh, what do we need? Have we got everything? We have actually got everything. Colonial ne negotiations, we just need to wait for that to happen. Uh, cheap iron, electric machinery, our navy could do with improving. When do we have to wait for that? 1860. So next year. Hmm. Maybe it was a wrong idea to actually get. Uh, to start building. Commerce raiders. A commerce thread is the equivalent of iron ironclads. I'm pretty sure they're not actually. I'm pretty sure a commerce thread is the equivalent of a frigate, and ironclad replaces uh, men of war, man of war, whatever. Right, let's go. I think we're ready. Clear state. Uh, oh God, what was it called? Upper Egypt, Lower Egypt, and Matra. I remember struggling to actually find Matra. Uh, there, we'll take that. We're not going to call our allies, I don't think. Shit, I've just remembered we'll go to war with two Sicilies. Can I actually invite you? Yeah. I can. We shouldn't have it on full speed. It's good for all. See how we go with that. Um, and let's drag our army is down here. Oh fuck! Is this the first time we've ever been declared war upon? I think it is. Well, Prussia. You have made a terrible mistake. Our armies will reinforce. Uh, I might have to reinforce Italy as well. Yeah, I'll send that army down there. I think we'll only go for like. Let's go and blockade a load of ports. The British are doing a good job at distracting the Ottomans, so I've only really got to worry about the Prussians now. Got a massive like new navy up here. Let's put it to use and let's bl blockade and like stop any Prussian ships from entering that region. Ah, well, I'm quite shocked that we actually got declared war. I don't think it's happened before. Chinese Empire is going to actually collapse, uh, which is quite fucking hilarious. Oh, fuck. Holy shit, that's a lot of troops, isn't it? Didn't quite realise there was that many. We'll have to unify our armies then. 
are losing a lot more than them. Jesus, this is going to be a bit harder than what I actually expected. Uh, what are they actually wanting? Franco-Prussian War. Liberate Hessen. Is that it? You're going to war just to liberate he Hessen. Okay then. The thing is though, the reason why this is going to be hard is because they have so many fucking allies. Like seriously. They have a ridiculous amount of allies and quite a lot of troops. How's Italy doing? Not very well by the looks of it. Looks like we're going to lose this battle. Uh, yeah. All is lost. We've lost. <laughs> I'm joking. We might actually lose the Prussian War, but I'm pretty sure we can press ahead of the Ottoman War, hopefully. Try and get a quick, quick, uh, quick peace with them. You know, make it a quick war. So long as the bloody... Fuck, we are actually getting wrecked. Uh, you... Oh, fucking hell, this is really bad. Why are you not going? Both of you. Reinforce. We need to make some stronger allies, I think. How's Hungary doing? Hungary's been invaded by... Oh shit, Austria. We're at war with Austria. They have so many men. Do we even? I don't even know what our, our generals are like. Ah, this is a very bloody battle. They're reinforcing. Fuck. Should I release? Person? I don't know. They fucking caught up, really? Like seriously, can you not? I didn't realise Prussia was quite I need to mobilise. Why am I not mobilising? What a stupid fucking thing I am doing. We're gonna have to just retreat from that and pull pull our men out as best we can. Please don't get caught up. Right, let's let's pull back and reassess. There's not really much time for reassessing. But as soon as we get mobilized, we should be able to push them back. They are gonna be winning this war. Quite heavily, I, I should imagine. Uh, yeah, 6%. They've actually nearly got it. And they're going to start adding more war goals, and then it's going to make it even harder. How's the Ottomans doing? We're not winning that. Apparently. Don't know how. We occupy a lot, but not enough. The Hounds are doing a, a decent job, at least. Two sisters have been a bit of a pain. Um... They've got so many men. It's just the size of their armies as well. They're so big and, and strong. That's the, the Prussian first army. Our organisation is taking forever to actually... Right, I'm going to accept peace with the, the Prussians. Because look, they've already added another thing. And I don't really want it, to be honest. And now they won't accept it. This is what I mean. Why did I not accept peace straight away? Jesus. Hessen's not even that big a country as well. Hessen there, look. 
I got too big for my boots, didn't I? And then they'll end up cutting me down to size. What do the Austrians want? Do they want something off? Who do they want Austria? Yeah, they demand that from Hungary. Okay, I'm willing to sacrifice a bit of Hungary. <laughs> oh god, this is this is not the best. Right. Okay, we have been humiliated. Quite significantly. I'm not going to deny that. That was not a very good war. So we've just lost two wars in two episodes. That's not the best, is it? Let's send them all back to heal up. You're healing up down there. Hmm. Do we just need to focus our tech on military now? I think we possibly do. Maybe our military is a bit behind. Probably the reason. Now we've got Jacobian rebels. And they're all in Africa. Well, a lot of them are. When you take that, I'm going to put you... on Hunt Rebels, and you're going to go off and deal with the frogs. Uh, two sisters, white peas, yeah. Let's just minimise the war as much as possible. The Brits are still at war. They've actually taken Istanbul. Could we get an alliance with the Brits? Too many great part allies. Who are they even allied with? Portugal. It's possibly why then. America has actually become a great ally. I think I need to dissolve my alliance with Hungary. They're a bit outdated, they're not very powerful. We could actually get an alliance with Britain now. Slow it down. Uh, Java. Let's deal with that because it's annoying me. It's down here. Increase opinion. We're friendly. If we can get friendly relations, we can actually intervene in wars. Which is good. as well, I forgot about that. Oh shit, Persia's invaded. <laughs> what? Fucking Persia's invaded. Tars do as well. Pretty good as well. I wonder what the industrial capability is of this area. Because I, I don't really know whether to... Uh, you see, Dusseldorf on this area is like really industrial look. So I could release nations on this side where it's more farming and shit that I don't really need. We've got plenty of farms in France. Hmm. 
<laughs> There's a lot of crises in my land, Jesus. Uh, I don't know, I think we'll figure that out after we've done this war and what have you. Let's go up there. The fucking per uh, Persians have a lot of men, Jesus. Uh, I can't click on the province, it's so small. Yes, Persia. Well, let's... Oh, are they the fucking war leaders? Oh, shit, they are. Shit, son. I don't really want to accept peace yet. Or do I want to... Or do I want to? I really want to take Lower Egypt as well. I think I'm going to do that. Uh, and I'll end it here. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.